Hi, I'm Betty. Welcome to my Disney Loungefly bags collection video. I have a lot of bags, so I'm going to try to go as fast as possible so I don't have to break up this video into three or four parts. So let's start. I'm going to start with this little Chippendale coin purse. It has an acorn zipper pull. I think this is very adorable. And inside it has, let me see if I can show you all the images. There you go. I think you can see it there. Very cute. The back just has the Loungefly badge with acorns. The next one is a card case. And this is for Coco. It has Dante and in his... On the back it has Dante in his dog shape. And then his... What's the name for these colorful figures? Uh, Aleoriges, I think. Okay, so this is him. And it's the same one in the front. This one, not only it's beautiful because it's very colorful, but also because the flowers are embroidered. So is it? Not all of them. But let me see if I can focus on it. Hopefully the camera is capturing that these flowers here are embroidered as well as this ones. And on the front, same thing, these ones and these are embroidered. So this case has one, two, three, four card slots. And on the inside, okay, there you go. It has the same flowers. Is it on the flowers? I'm not sure if the camera can capture that, but it also has some skulls. I don't have the light in the proper angle, so I don't know, but I think this one here you can see. There you go. Okay, let's move on to another coin purse. This one is bigger than the, than the Chippendale one, and this is a Minnie Mouse. I love from this collection that the studs they used are also Mickey shaped. I mean, um, did they try to do the Minnie Mouse? I mean, it's missing the bow. So I'm gonna have to call them Mickey Mouse. Um, and this one has a hook, like a carabiner type of hook. On the back, it has the metallic plaque. And inside, it's just red with white polka dots. I can't tilt it very much because it's full of coins that I carry sometimes to the parks so that I can make pressed pennies. Then I have a bag. This is, it can be a shoulder bag or I think it's long enough to be crossbody, but it's very small. This bag does not fit a cell phone. This is the bag. Maybe if they had made it like Harvey's Desert bags where the ears are also part of the bag and then the zipper goes around the ears, maybe that would have made it big enough to fit a cell phone a little bit tilted to the side. But this way, a cell phone is impossible. Let me show you my phone here. There you go. You can see it, it doesn't it doesn't fit. But I love the strap because it's a silver strap with that like faux leather threaded through. It's very pretty and inside is red with white polka dots. So the bag itself is very pretty. The problem is that if you can't carry your cell phone it's not as useful, but I do use it sometimes when I'm wearing jeans and I can carry my my phone in my pocket From that same collection. And this was actually the first one that I purchased from that collection the mini backpack This one is the same size as the typical lounge flies that you see everywhere It's I just I think it's called the mini backpack, but it's the same size. It's not smaller than those 
So inside the front pocket, the back is just black and then the front of the pocket is that red and white polka dot. And I love that this one has the ears and the bag inside, it's the same lining. This one, as with all others, don't doesn't have any um, pockets inside. It's just like a big main compartment. Another Minnie Mouse is this bag here that can also be used shoulder bag or um, carried from the handle, or you can also wear it as a crossbody bag. This has this like um, Safiano leather look. And I really like the golden lettering here. The back is just plain and has a lounge fly plaque. The metallic one, I love it when they use those. The strap is adjustable with one of these sliders. I'm not sure if that's the correct term for these. That's how I call them. But if you know the right term, please let me know. And inside, it's black with white polka dots. These polka dots are smaller than the one, uh, the other collection. And this one has a small, kind of, oh, it's way bigger than, um, than a card slot. So it has a pocket there. And it has a magnetic snap, a snap closure. And it's a big one. This is a really big one. I love that it's not too big, so it looks obnoxious, but it's big enough to carry everything you need. That's a good thing. Okay, let's move on to this. I, this bag, I don't know when it came out. Um, I, may, I might have seen it and I was not interested in it until I saw a little girl wearing it. I think it was Disney Springs and I fell in love with the details so Toy Story Woody and I think the first thing that I noticed is that the Sherry's badge is metallic and that I don't know that just gave it um, a cool a really cool touch for me and then I saw the side oh because it also has like the belt with the cowboy buckle and then on the side it has the gun holster i also like that they made the top part like the shirt and then the bottom is clearly the pants and inside no, let me open the main compartment it has the boot and some cacti and yeah pretty much that's it <laughs> and because I had him I felt like I also needed to have Buzz Lightyear Buzz Lightyear is one of my favorite characters I, I he just makes me laugh and I love his attitude so um, I felt like I needed this one there's a new one released very recently that has like wings on the side and I believe that the wings light up but if I'm honest I prefer this one because the less things coming out of the bag that I feel that I need to protect the better however that one is super cute very very pretty now this one as with Woody it's like his um, I was gonna say costume but that's not true that's like his uniform and um, on the side it's like his arm so he has the laser beam or the button for it and then on the other side the badge and then inside the line are you ready for the lining I think that's the best part of this bag I want to carry it open the little green man ah oh, these aliens are super cute love it that's another difference with the new bag the new bag does not have the aliens inside i'm not sure what it has i can't remember i've seen it but i can't remember but i remember thinking when 
somebody showed the interior i remember thinking like why did they take away the best part of it but you know the um next one is another coin purse and i usually keep it attached to that other bag with this um carabiner latch or hook and on the back oh. so the first thing i loved about this is the style obviously but i love that they used a clear plastic on top to make it look like he was wearing his helmet oh that's super cute the back is just purple with the metallic um plaque and then inside, it has the picture bowl. Adorable. Okay, the next. Let's move on to the pile on this side. I'm gonna show you the bat. My first lounge fly ever was this guy here. And not much to say about this one other than it was perfect. It's Mickey Mouse my favorite character when it comes to merchandise um this is one of those bags that the positioning of the print differs from bag to bag but i ordered this one online so i didn't have a chance to choose but i think it went okay i have two of them here and they're not caught off completely i mean this one the ear kind of but you know for the most part i think i was lucky with this one and inside, it's just, is that gray? Yeah. Gray and white stripes. I am, I haven't been showing other things about this bag because I think everyone is familiar with the style of the bag. So everyone knows about this front pocket. You can't put cell phones in it. And then it has two very tight pockets on the sides and i think this is the best um place to put your phone here because you really can't put uh bottles of water here it's it's too tight for that and on the back the straps are adjustable but even at the shortest they are too long for toddlers just in case you were wondering i tried it okay the next bag i have is um a more recent release than that one and but it's also mickey mouse the difference with this one is it's smaller i'm gonna put them side by side so you can see uh it has smaller images of mickey mouse and this one is just the traditional original red pants and red shorts i mean and this one has red green purple blue yellow and pink I, did i mention all the colors i think so i mean you can see them this is another one of those bags that the placement may differ from bag to bag and inside it's also stripes but this time is black and white all right then i'm gonna show you this i was trying to remember the name of this collection but honestly i can't and i think this was released in 2019 and it has a lot of vintage images of magic kingdom is it only magic kingdom i think so and it has all the characters so you can find Minnie Mouse, Goofy, Mickey, Donald and oh wait not all of them Pluto is not here and this is also the kind of bag that the placement varies and I purchased this one at the parks and I chose this one specifically because I wanted Donald Duck in front but I also liked that Minnie Mouse was there and Mickey Mouse Club um, like design then at the top i had the castle and mickey mouse 
on the back, which no one sees the back, but <laughs> I look at it when I'm buying a bag. I have all the characters. Okay, let's move on to probably my favorite bag that they've ever... I don't... I mean, I love all of them, but this one, it's just... Oh my god. Look at this. Again, I'm sorry that I can't remember the name of the collection, but... I wanted this one because it had the castle right here, Mickey Mouse, and also because it had Dumbo and the teacups that are uh, my daughter's favorite rides. But then it also has Pluto because I love Disney dogs, well, dogs in general. And uh, was there something else? Um, oh, the, the pirate's dog is also here and the balloons. And also, there was something else. Oh, yes. On the side, because the sides you do see, um, I have Minnie Mouse. So this one, this bag was perfect for me. It also, I also have Donald here at the top. Let's open it and see what it looks like inside. It's white and teal stripes. I love how colorful this bag is and it has so many um, Magic Kingdom details and attractions represented here. This is the bag and I almost want to wear it <laughs> showing this side instead of the front. Yeah. Gorgeous bag. Let's move on to, oh, I just realized that I'm missing one. Ah. Nah, I, I purchased the Halloween release of the Mickey Mouse pumpkin shape bag. I'm going to find a picture and put it here. So that you can see the one that I'm talking about. And that one I actually purchased from the character warehouse like a couple months after Halloween and it was only $29. And I'm super grateful for that because I really wanted that bag when it came out, but it was $80 or $90 and I just couldn't justify that much for a bag that I'm only going to wear for what, maybe like two weeks out of the year? That was way too much, but for $29, that's something I can get on board with. So I bought it, but I, as soon as I came home, it was, I mean, it was, Halloween was already gone. I wasn't going to wear it for a while. And I decided to just put it inside the box with the uh, Halloween decorations. And honestly, I just don't really want to go get it from that box. I would have to move all the Christmas boxes and everything. And uh, it's just, it's just, it's just too much. I'm sorry, but I'll put a picture like I said for you to see it and then for Christmas I went with this one. Now this did not come with the bag This was actually a little charm that came with a straw during Christmas time And I just decided to put it here. I saw somebody at the parks Wearing it there and I thought that was really cute. So I copied that person if that was you. Thank you for the idea. That's lovely And this one just has all the holiday um, I was gonna say Mickey shape, but not everything is Mickey shape, right? Well most of it, but all the holiday treats and I wanted this one because it had the castle here and I also wanted the mug now my mug is a little bit cut off but you can see most of it, so it's not a big deal for me. But then I also have the ginger man, uh, like Mickey and Minnie cookies, and the red waffles. Which, by the way, I've never seen red Mickey waffles. Where are they? Because I want to try those. And, well, yeah, I mean, you've probably seen this bag many times. Let's open it to see what it looks like inside. It's red with, uh, it says, season's greetings, and it has some of the same, oh, some snowflakes, and then some of the same 
uh, sweet treats that you find on the outside. It's very pretty. And only two more left. I think I'm getting better at these videos. I'm going faster. So this one came out for Valentine's Day this year, 2020. Was it this year? Yes. And this is just a keychain that I added. So, um, I chose this one in person and I chose this one because it had three of the couple's images right here on the front. Most of them only had one and then all the other ones were cut off. But I love this one and then it has Minnie Mouse and then here they are kissing. This is a very cute bag. Then on the side, they are here like jumping, prancing, dancing, I don't know. And on this other side, there you go. Very pretty. The back, I think has everything that came in this print like all the images that made part of this print. And on the inside, this is the best part, the inside. It's Mickey, Mickey and Minnie, like the new, the new ones, the new cartoon style, which at first I wasn't too fond of until I saw the actual show and <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm a fan now, so I like it. Now this bag, just in case you were wondering about it or were thinking about getting it online, it's not white. This is a very, very light gray. It's like that kind of white with a couple of drops of gray. So let me compare it to a real white one so that you can see the difference. It's not, it's not a huge difference, but I'm hoping that the camera is picking it up because that might be important for some people. My last lounge fly bag is Coco. And I haven't had the chance to use this one yet, but same thing as the card uh, holder, some of the flowers are embroidered and that's gorgeous same uh, oh well no this is not embroidered and i like that they changed the style of the pocket because the way they made the other pocket the pocket is big enough on the other bags to hold my phone but the problem is i can't get it through the zipper so with this one I don't have a problem because the zipper is not on the... Let me explain what I mean. The zipper doesn't open all the way to the sides. It just opens a little bit. So this pocket doesn't open wide enough for me to be able to slide my phone in. But with this bag, I don't have that problem because I just open it like this and slide my phone in there. This one has, like you, like you heard, probably you heard it, it's magnetic. And the back carries that same um, design. And yeah, the back doesn't have any, any of the flowers embroidered. It's just uh, printed on. The sides, however, do have some flowers embroidered. And then this one has a charm on the zipper let me see if i can focus hopefully because it's the guitar and if i open it i still have everything inside this one uh, This bag inside has the same lining as the card holder, which is the flowers and skulls. Yeah, that's it. But this one has something different from the others. This one finally has a zippered pocket 
on the back. Oh, I'm gonna have to take everything out. Oh, you can probably see it there. So the zipper. And I think that's a really nice addition. I was missing that on the other ones. And now we have them. Hopefully that pocket is here to stay for any new bags that they will release in the future. And that's it. Those are all my Loungefly bags. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Bye.